Hello, truth seekers. Okay, you know as well as I do, we make lots of decisions every single day. We choose over and over and over again. But did you really think about love being a choice? That you choose to love yourself, you choose to love others, and you choose to love God. Well, this week I chose every single day to not only love myself, but also love God and sacrifice and work out. I am like, I'm telling you, I've got that COVID-19 pounds going on and I feel so lethargic and so tired that I said, okay, I'm going to start all over again. Those of you who have been following me, you know, I've, I was saying that, you know, this means war back in the summer. And I would only string a couple of days together of working out. But this week, I chose to love myself and take care of myself, even though I didn't feel like doing it. Every morning, I got up. I didn't even think twice. I just put my clothes on and I worked out. And then afterwards, I felt so much better. I offered it to God. I had more energy. My body is sore in places that I know, hey, I'm doing good for myself. The only day that I didn't was Wednesday, and I chose to work on my distracted rosary. I'm going to be putting an audio file together for all the mysteries to help you meditate on the rosary. And I'm taking that in. The reason why I focused on that, I didn't know how long it was going to take. It took me all day on the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary and the next day, half of the morning on Thursday to finish that up. But I'll be taking it into the studio to record it. And I'm also recording a song with Anna Nuzo. Would love a few prayers if you could. But let's talk about the most important choice in our lives is building that relationship with God and loving God, and praying and worshiping, and giving thanks to the Almighty who created us and the universe, the cosmos, everything. It's the first greatest commandment. Love thy God with all thy mind, soul, strength. So I have to ask, are you choosing to do that? And I want to show you something because I'm not sure many people uh, have checked out my prayer program. And the reason why I want to show it to you is because I think you might choose to take that step, choose to put a pattern in your life and choose to spend 15 small little minutes together daily with God and choose to walk with me in a three minute video with you every day and focus on one thing. It's, it's not overwhelming. But what it is, is 40 days worth, 40 being a biblical number, 40 being a challenge. And it's about the time that it takes to implement a habit in your life. So I want to show it to you so that you're well aware of what it is. And maybe you'll choose to put God into your life in prayer on a regular basis. So many people say, I can't find the time. I don't have the consistency. I don't feel anything when I'm praying. I can't hear God's voice. I don't know how to pray. I created this program because people were asking me, how do I pray? How do you pray? How do you hear his voice? How do you get into that routine? And so I did, I took it to God in prayer, surprise. And I asked, how do you want me to do this? Because I can't tell you this information when I'm at a speaking engagement, signing books. So he said, I don't just want you to write a book on this. I want you to walk with people on this journey. And that's what my mission's all about, is helping you deepen your relationship with God and the Catholic faith. There's a lot of stuff in there about Catholicism. And many people who are not Catholic have taken the program. So uh, don't be, you know, questioning whether you should or shouldn't if you're a Christian or maybe you're even not any kind of denomination of any or you're not practicing any faith. Maybe you're Jewish, maybe you're atheist and you still follow these. Check it out. Can't hurt. OK, let's show you a little bit about what it is. OK, this is the program. This is what you'll see when you get the email. You'll click on it and you will see me without my COVID-19 extra pounds. 
Um, and that's what happens. You just click on the video and you can watch the video. You get a companion for the week. So it's a PDF file that you can download, you can print off, and it walks you through. This is the um, introduction, like what you can expect. And then there's a beautiful uh, poem that you start with. Basically, it's from St. Mother Teresa about the Lord knocking on your heart. And let's see, so the first day, again, this comes to you in an email and you just watch a three minute on average video. And then down here, you have comments from all these different people that have taken the course. And as you go every day, you might find a link like, oh, here's a link that you might wanna look at about X, Y, or Z. So it's not just me and my resources, it's information from other people and it's really kind of cool to read these. Um, here you go. Hi, Kendra. I heard you on Relevant Radio this week talking about deserving God's love. And other people respond to other people. And it's just a beautiful um, way to walk, not just with me, but with other people. Okay, that's it. And it goes through a, all the weeks. They're all headed over here. Each one of them has their own download and then videos each day. 15 minutes a day. That's it. Okay, not sure if it's for you, but I wanted to show it to you because I think we all need to make a choice to love God and to pray to God and to implement a regular time and practice to share our lives. It's the most important relationship Ever. So just offering it up to you. And I would love to hear your feedback. I, I get a lot of awesome comments. And by the way, it never expires. I don't know if I said that already. So it's there for you forever. Let's say you fall off a couple of days, don't worry about it. Get back on. It's no timeline, doesn't expire. And you can also gift it to a friend if they're also struggling. And there's one more thing I want to share with you. Um, I have a friend who I've known for the last, I don't know, three, three years or so, and she was in chronic fatigue, chronic pain, and was almost like bedridden for a couple of years. And she exhausted everything in the Western medicine and all this alternative stuff. And she finally found freedom in this beautiful method of prayer it's like this, this way of, of tapping into all of, of your senses, but it's a Catholic way to pray. It's a Christian method. And I'm putting her link in the description because she's actually going through a workshop coming up at the end of the month. And you might want to attend. It's on Zoom, so it's online. You don't have to go anywhere. But some of you may be feeling depression or chronic fatigue or maybe just stress and life is manifesting in you physically. Uh, and I think her method is extraordinary. And I know her. I You would never, ever guess that she was bedridden and that she was in so much pain and was so sick. So I uh, want you to check out Lori Pacer and her Holy Spirit healing ministry. And it's just absolutely phenomenal. And maybe you're interested in that too. This is kind of a, hey, let's help on the road, bring everyone closer to God and his healing and his love. It's a choice to love God. It's a choice to love yourself. And it's a choice to love others. So let's be love. We can't really be love without God, who is love. Let's work on that this week. All right, everyone, I love you all. Have a blessed and inspired week. Talk to you soon.